People asked, so what's new? What did you find that we didn't already know? And the main answers are that the first galaxies formed in ways we didn't anticipate, and we aren't sure why our old predictions were incorrect. The continuing discoveries from the Webb telescope are deeply changing how we understand the cosmos. As it peers into the remote past, it's uncovering secrets that were once beyond our grasp. But hold on, a stunning new finding has just fractured our basic understanding of the universe. It suggests we might be totally mistaken about the universe's true size. In a recently published paper, scientists announced that new images from the Webb telescope have identified objects from just 120 million years after the Big Bang. Beyond that, what researchers found in the deep early cosmos might shatter the whole foundation of the standard cosmological model. Astronomers admit they were not prepared to see something like this in the Webb images. The universe is indeed very old, but not infinitely old, which was also a major surprise. Einstein, for example, believed the universe had to be infinite in age, with no beginning. It turns out he was mistaken. It seems our intuition has been incorrect almost constantly. We are fairly certain that we have no idea what we are going to discover next. Think about this. When the Webb telescope peers as deep into space as it can, it will only observe up to about 46.5 billion light years away. This distance represents the radius of our visible universe, which we refer to as the Hubble radius or Hubble sphere. Incidentally, the most remote galaxies found by the James Webb telescope are also located within this Hubble sphere region. Even the most distant galaxy ever confirmed by the Webb telescope, known as Maisie's Galaxy, which was around just 450 million years after the Big Bang, is also inside this Hubble sphere. We understand, however, that our universe is expanding. And as it expands, this Hubble region grows bigger and bigger. This allows objects that were previously beyond the Hubble region to eventually become visible to us. But this is where the situation becomes truly fascinating. The universe isn't just expanding, its expansion is accelerating. Past the edge of the Hubble sphere, the expansion is occurring faster than the speed of light. Because of this, the size of the Hubble region won't continue to grow indefinitely. When we try to observe extremely distant objects beyond this Hubble boundary, their light is attempting to travel to us. However, because of the accelerating expansion, the space between us and those remote objects is stretching so fast that the light they emit can't overcome it. This effectively means the light from those distant stars and galaxies is moving away from us more rapidly than it can travel, toward us. This implies that the Hubble sphere will cease to grow once it hits the cosmic horizon limit, a region we call the observable universe. This observable universe is an imaginary spherical shell surrounding us, measuring 93 billion light years across. This represents the absolute maximum distance from which we can observe galaxies or stars. The light originating from within this sphere must have been traveling for a very long time for it to have reached us. Anything located outside of this sphere will forever remain invisible to us. Even if we had the most powerful theoretical telescopes, we couldn't see that far. Simply because the light from those objects has not arrived here yet. This naturally leads to the question, just how large is the asterisk entire asterisk universe beyond the boundary of our observable universe shell? The simple answer is we don't know. We only have estimates, or more accurately, the mathematics within our current cosmological theories provide conflicting answers. We just don't have enough data to reach any definite conclusions yet. And for all we know, we may never find out. It's possible that it is infinite. However, some studies have suggested that the complete universe is at minimum 250 times larger than our observable universe. There are other estimates proposing our universe is 10 raised to the power of 10, raised to the power of 10, raised to the power of 122 times larger than the observable universe. This number is astronomically massive, with an almost unimaginable quantity of digits. But the even distribution of matter throughout the cosmos and the isotropic or uniform distribution of temperature in the cosmic microwave background radiation both point to the idea that our universe might actually be infinite in size. Now, here is where it gets really compelling. When we look deep into space, we are literally looking back in time. Those most distant galaxies we observe near the Hubble sphere aren't galaxies that are there right now. They are ancient galaxies that existed billions of years ago. We are simply observing the universe's past. Now, our standard cosmological model states that about 14 billion years ago, 
the whole observable universe plus everything beyond it that we cannot see would have been compressed into a tiny, infinite point known as the singularity. But actually, no. That would only be correct if the universe is finite. But if the universe is infinite, which it appears it might be, then it was asterisk, always asterisk infinite. This would mean the Big Bang occurred, quite literally, everywhere at once. This implies the first galaxies didn't form in one specific area of space. They formed all over the universe, simultaneously, even far beyond the observable universe that we are unable to see. It appears that matter simply came into being everywhere in the cosmos at a specific moment. The cosmic microwave background radiation, which we detect in every direction we look, is the very first light from that matter, streaming toward us from all directions. So, this indicates that the singularity wasn't a single point where everything originated. Instead, it was an infinite asterisk state asterisk where everything everywhere came into existence about 13.8 billion years ago. But hold on. While I've described so far seems to explain the mysterious nature of our universe, new findings from the Webb telescope are directly challenging its estimated age. This is because every deep field image from the James Webb telescope shows things that force us to reconsider the Big Bang model of a 13.8 billion year old cosmos. At the end of 2022, the most distant unconfirmed galaxy was thought to be Sears 93316. However, further analysis revealed it was just a closer galaxy that only asterisk appeared asterisk extremely red because of intervening dust clouds. But just recently, the James Webb Telescope has once again found an ultra-high red-shifted galaxy that has shattered our theories. Scientists have just identified F200 DBZ045. This is a candidate for a high redshift galaxy, with an estimated redshift of about Z equals 20.4. This corresponds to just 168 million years after the Big Bang. If this is confirmed, it will become one of the most distant and earliest galaxies ever observed. Now, this galaxy remains one of the most distant asterisk candidates asterisk and must pass many more tests to be confirmed. But if it asterisk is asterisk confirmed, the standard model will have to be revised yet again, forcing us to find a new, better estimated age for the universe. A few months ago, the Webb telescope also found massive early galaxies just a few million years after the Big Bang. According to our current standard model of the universe, their existence should be simply impossible. To form these galaxies that rapidly, you would require nearly all the available gas in the universe to convert into stars at almost 100% efficiency. That is extremely difficult, which is really just the scientific way of saying impossible. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, took 13.7 asterisk billion asterisk years to form. Yet the Webb Telescope found galaxies comparable to our Milky Way just a few million years after the Big Bang. This single discovery could completely change our understanding of how the first galaxies in the universe were created. In yet another finding, using the James Webb Telescope, the research group GNIFS has found something remarkable in the early universe. This time, they spotted two merging black holes only 700 million years after the Big Bang. It is incredible that the Webb Telescope's powerful infrared capabilities have allowed us to see this early black hole collision. Scientists now theorize that frequent black hole mergers might be a primary method for black hole growth in the early universe. All of these findings suggest that the universe might be significantly older than we have believed. It's even possible it had no beginning at all, and that it has just always existed. Since we are finding that our universe appears to be infinite in size, it's plausible that its age is also infinite. What we currently call the Big Bang might not have been a true beginning at all. It may have just been one specific moment in the evolution of an always existing universe. However, much more research is required. It is still unclear if this idea of an eternal universe, one with no beginning, can be reconciled with our current scientific models to properly explain the complex series of events that occurred during the Big Bang, that is all for this video. Please share your own thoughts in the comments below about this continuing crisis in cosmology. Thank you for watching. Are you fascinated by the universe and black holes, but feel lost in the technical jargon? If you want to finally understand these concepts, click the link in the pinned comment and get your copy of the ebook, The Code to Decipher the Universe.